Morgan Freeman, Keanu Reeves, they knew too much. We know too much! <laughs> they went too far. We went too far! Those are my lines. Those are his lines! Did you know they're actually coming out now with another fun? Aren't you gonna say thanks? <laughs> thanks? For what? I saved your life. If it wasn't for me, then that guy in the armor would have killed you. What makes you so sure of that? It was obvious. He was this close to finishing you off. Well, I'm yet giving this a go, downloading the um, software stuff for that, but then I discovered the website, machinima.com website, and uh, that's really where it all began. I mean, first, when I first got there, I was, didn't know what I was going to make, I was mainly going to be there as a fan, but um, things changed, as you know, and I ended up, well, First I got that, this idea of this brawl machine, which I've actually had in my mind, to be honest, for about a year now. But it's just, don't, I don't think it's going to happen now, and if it does, it won't be for a long time, because I still need a US copy of the game. Because my uh, copy, the, my European copy, is uh, patched. Because um, Nintendo had a patch that you can't like, use hacks or read files from SD cards or something. Basically, my, free, my game freezes every time I try using um, texture or <coughs> excuse me, or uh, a hack that requires files on the SD card. I can use like the Infinite Live, use Superman, and replay thing, but I just can't use the texture. So I can still make Ball Machine, but I just can't use textured ones. I'm probably gonna make some shorts, but that won't be for a while because I've got other stuff to work on at the moment. How did I get into the city of Mishinima? Well, actually, um, I was on YouTube once and noticed one of my friends had favorited one of Dexter Boy's um, the city of Mishinima's uh, real men. I thought, hang on, how can you make a Final Fantasy Mishinima? No game supported. I watch it. I found out about the replay editor, and I thought. I just, well, actually, I don't really know. I thought I was like, you know, I could use this. You know, he's mixing Final Fantasy and Machinima. I think I could come up with something for this. Eventually, I get the game to City because I didn't even have it at the time. I mean, to be honest, I would have bought it day one if uh, I wanted to, but that game just didn't actually interest me much. I didn't know anything about it. Once I found out about the replay editor, I um, moved on to. You know, sort of looking up some gameplay, some replay edits, started looking up stuff to do with the game. And I thought, you know, I think this game might be actually good. I did spy. Buy it. And then that's it, you know. But it, I had it for about a month before the idea out of time even came to me. So, yeah, I mean, but put it that way, it was Dexter Boys, a uh, real men machinima. They got me into Decidia. Into making Decidia machinima. Um, well, it's actually been nearly, nearly a year since I first had, first had the idea. Nearly a year and two episodes in, and one of them has been deleted and isn't even canon anymore. No, I'm not going to talk about that anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, it just came to me randomly actually, because once I used to um, use school a lot in the game, and as in the school is pretty much the main character of Out of Time, and I was fighting Ultimecia in the um, Ultimatia's castle level and all of a sudden the idea just came to me what if Squall after defeating Ultimatia 
ended up having to go through time, meeting other Final Fantasy characters, trying to prevent something. That's where the idea came from. It just came to me badly while I was playing the game. Okay, the concept's different now, the whole time confession and that, because, as I said, as, a, as you might notice, um, I lost a bit of camera, sorry. Um, out of time, out of time was originally going to be, um, you know, him travelling through members of time, meeting the characters, and, um, pre preventing himself from finishing up to meet, from preventing himself from killing up to meet which, you know, if he doesn't kill up to meet then the series doesn't happen, and it's got too confusing. Not after episode one, I just lost all interest in that current storyline. It was going to start like really comedy and light hearted for the first half, and then turn into a quite a twisted, well, not twisted, just turn into a really weird ass complex storyline. I was going straight to the second half, actually, to be honest, with this weird ass complex storyline. I mean, you haven't seen nothing yet. Seriously, you I mean. Episode 13. That's going to be a tough one to do. The last episode. And, um. Because episode 8 and 9 would be quite tough to do as well. Especially, especially 8, but then 9, I need, I need certain things, else I can't do them. Well, what, what game came out March 9th this year on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360? Final Fantasy 13. That's why, because there's 13 main series titles. Because this is because 14 is out soon, I don't know if I should just stick with 13 episodes or try and find a way to trim it so I can make it into 14, ep make it into 14 episodes. That's something I think I'm going to have to ask the fans. I mean, if I cut an episode in half, if I do, it probably will be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, it probably will be episode 13 I cut in half because I've got a good place in my mind where I can cut that in half. How has it been working on Out of Time? <sighs> to be honest, it hasn't been that great. The first episode, fine. That was probably the easiest one. But, with the fact it took about six months for episode two, and the current situation of episode three, by the time it finally gets around to being made, I just, I've lost interest in the episode. To be honest, I mean the first, the, the reason for episode two's delay, massive delay, was a uh, one voice actors because I had to redo a ton load of recasting. Well, not ton, but I had to do a bit of recasting. I mean, I had to recast Cecil, oh, and episode two. I had to recast Warrior of Light. I had to recast Optimicia because three voice actors never got back to me. So you know they auditioned, but they didn't. Get back to me when I when I told him they have the ball. Um, what else? Also, the fact that during that time, a crap load of stuff happened in my life. I mean, I, I was just busy. And it, you know, I got it finished at the end of May, which is well, end of May, beginning of June, which is what I wanted because at that time it was a college project and my final major piece. And um. I was still doing it as I was making Out of Time episode 2 which I think is finishing it, yeah, end of May and still I wanted to focus on that, that's why to be honest until the episode starts getting made, starts getting made I really don't care what's happening in the series you know, I don't think, oh my god, Out of Time, I think you know, to be honest, I'm being honest right here right now, I don't really feel that bothered about it once all the lines are in, I think yay, let's get to work but whilst I wait for the lines, I'm just thinking do something else. As you may or may not know, um, the Kefka, my Kefka voice actor, by Xander, I really hope I said that right. <laughs> Um, he's, he's also the voice actor and current owner of, um, the Dissidia project. 
So, and the writer as well. I mean, he's the writer, voice actor, Kefka voice actor, and owner of it. So, um, and of course, and of course, after episode ten, um, my problem was is the fact that uh, so as uh, do some my laptop. Uh, and what happened was then is that uh, he, well, the other owner, Mitsu Mash or something. The guy does the school's monologue and their voices on the first episode. Um, he left after episode 10. I'm not sure why. I mean, I don't, know. I don't really want to talk about full details, but I'm not going to talk about what I know, but I don't know everything. Um, you know, by his hand, uh, uh, he asked me if um, I would work on the, on the City Project, saying, asking, um, you know, would you do it for me? And he said, you know, I know you've got stuff to do, got out of time other projects, but I thought, before um, he'd ask me anyway, and I was thinking, holy mother of something! I was just, I was be really shocked that he actually asked me because I'm a fan of the city project, you know. It's just weird to think that I never actually uh, thought I'd be working on that, and here we are, episode eleven onwards. I'm gonna be put up to the city project. Do I have any favourite machine animators? Um, well, to be honest, I haven't actually watched much machinima in a while. Actually, I mean, the most recent one I watched was uh, Domination Darren's The Big City. That was the last one I watched. I watched that on release date. I mean, before that, the last one I watched was uh, I can't remember. Actually, I think it was in the, new, the most recent episode of Smash King. Was that before or after Tom? No, I watched that. No, I can't remember. Oh, my memory is crap with things like this. I'm sorry for that. Um, any favourites, though? You know, to be honest, I really don't have many favourites. I mean, I'm a fan of Sam, but I don't think... Oh my god, this guy's so good, I want to be him. And you know, orgasm all over the screen kind of thing. Excuse me for put saying that. I apologise for that uh, comment, but <laughs> you know, I don't really have any favourites. It was really, like, oh my god, this guy's this guy is a god. Excuse the cliche there. I just think I'm a fan. I mean, I don't really have any favourites because it's just not. I don't think enough really for me to have any favourites. I mean, I'd say, to be, to be honest, um, I'll say who I'm a fan of. Though. I mean. I Domination Darren's work, the City Project pre episode 11, because I can't really say I don't like episode 11 because I made it. I'm one of those people who don't do that. I'm not one of those people who do like and favourite my own videos. I'm not going to that though, because I'd, I'd say I'd, I'll just say I don't understand why people do it. Why like and favourite your own video? That's what I'm going to say about that. Anyway, um, Domination Darren stuff, the City Project pre episode 11. Tiger 21 with Smash King stuff. Um, even though he hasn't done anything for like a year, black and white was, was pretty good. Um, that's it, to be honest, off the top of my head. I mean, there are a few people who said I'm looking forward to if they ever make it, but um, off the top of my head, is really it. I mean, 